This is Stephanie from statisticshowto.com. In this video, I'm going to briefly overview what fixed effects and random effects mean. Those terms mean something slightly different depending on who's using the terms and what field you're working in. For example, in ANOVA or regression analysis, it refers to how particular variables behave. They're either fixed like skin color or random like weather on a particular day. This definition is the main focus of this video. Alternatively, it can mean the process of fixing random variables as in fixed effects regression. In multi-level modeling and econometrics, the terms are defined quite differently. Fixed effects are estimated using least squares or maximum likelihood, and random effects are estimated with shrinkage. There are a few other less common definitions. Uh, Searle, Casella, and McCulloch uh, defined fixed variable as interesting. Uh, Green and Tookie in their 1960 book defined a fixed variable as one that exhausts the population. And Lamotte defined it as uh, an effect is assumed to be a realized value of a random variable. It's called a random effect. Don't be surprised about all the different definitions. It's common in statistics for one person to say one thing and another to mean something different, but the math here is pretty much all the same. So let's talk about fixed effects. Fixed effects in regression and ANOVA are variables that are constant across individuals. These variables like age, sex, or ethnicity don't change or they change at a constant rate over time. In other words, any change they cause to an individual is the same. For example, effects of being a woman, a person of color, or a 17 year old will not change over time. On the other hand, the opposite of fixed effects are random effects. These variables are, like the name suggests, random and unpredictable. The price of a three course dinner would vary wildly depending on the location, like a Midtown New York versus Yulee, Florida. And the cost of a new car varies depending on what year it was purchased. A 1941 vehicle cost a lot less than 2018. In a fixed effects model, random variables are treated as though they were non-random or fixed. For example, in regression analysis, Fixed effects regression fixes or holds constant average effects for whatever variable you might think affects the outcome of your analysis. These models are simple, but they do have some limitations. For example, they can't control the variables that vary over time, like income level or employment status. However, they can be included in the model by using dummy variables for time or space units. And while that might seem like a good idea, the more dummy variables you introduce into the model, the more noise. And this could lead to over dampening the model, reducing the useful as well as the useless information. A mixture between fixed effects and random effects model is called a mixed effects model. One way to control for differences between subjects is to fix the effects. Randomly assign the participants to treatment groups and control groups. For example, one difference could be age. But by randomly assigning participants, you control for age across groups. It sounds simple, but in real life, it's difficult or impossible to randomly assign participants or treatments. So these variables like age must be measured instead. Ultimately, it isn't possible to control for all possible variables and research results can be contaminated with these hidden variables. That contamination is called omitted variable bias. Fixed effects models attempt to remove the omitted variable bias by measuring changes within groups over time, usually by including dummy variables for the missing or unknown characteristics. But again, too many dummy variables is going to create a problem. 
that's a brief overview of the difference between fixed effects and random effects. Visit statisticshowto.com for more information, videos and how-to articles. I'll see you in the next video.